Hi, this is Ashley and I am here to give you my thoughts on Undertow by Michael Buckley. This is a YA urban fantasy in which Lyric Walker, the main character, is actually a half Serena, which means she is half Siren, aka she's half mermaid. And the story is really about the Alpha, who um, the Serena are part of, and the Alpha have come to Earth three years ago, and now there are Alpha children that are going to be going to school with the human children. And this is all set in Coney Island, and it's really interesting. I really enjoyed it. So this was a really great book. I was really surprised by it. I didn't have many expectations going into the book, which actually really, really helped, um, but also hindered it at the same time, because when I was reading the first 50 pages, it just felt like it really was dragging on and they were dancing around the main topic that we wanted to know and we already know kind of from the story and they just kept dancing around it and it was kind of annoying for those first 50 pages but once they got that information out in the clear and they weren't trying to mess around with us anymore the book got really really interesting um, things started to progress and the relationships between the humans and the alpha got more tension filled and it got more stressful until eventually it was just pretty much unbearable. The entire thing really focuses on Lyric, the main character, and she is pretty much just trying to survive in this Coney Island military state. And it's got a really great friendship between Lyric and her best friend Bex. Bex has an awful home life. And I really enjoyed the fact that we really got to delve into that secondary story and Bex's home life and really understand that. And that happened a lot with a lot of the subplots, a lot, pretty much any subplot that we were introduced to, we really got to delve into it. And it wasn't just mentioned and occasionally touched on from time and time again, they were actually really fleshed out. So the book felt like it was more like real life where it wasn't just focused on one thing, but things were going on pretty much in every aspect. There is romance in this book, but when you really think back on it, there isn't a whole lot. There is a kind of romance between Lyric and one of the Alpha, and there is kind of a romance between Bex and one of their best friends. And I really enjoyed that relationship between Bex and their friend, and watching that grow and progress, it was really fascinating to watch, and I just really enjoyed it. Um, as for the Alpha, the Alpha, were an extremely interesting race of people. Um, I don't want to call them fish heads like they are in the book, but there are all different sorts of alpha, kind of like there's all different sorts of people and they all live together and they work together and they have their differences, but they also are one big community. And it was just really interesting watching the alpha and seeing how their ways were different than human ways and everything that was going on between them. Um, I just really, really enjoyed the alpha and I hope that we get to see more alpha in the future. At first I thought going through the book that we weren't going to see much of the alpha society but we did later on and that was something that I'm glad that they did and also we finally started to get to know some of the alpha a little bit more in the book later on. I really love that as well. I mentioned kind of that the first 50 pages were kind of draggy then the next hundred pages were just kind of like, okay, I'm really getting into this. I'm starting to like the characters, but they were still a little bit, not as gripping. But then right after that, like the last 150 pages or so, 200 pages are like, they rip you up and they suck you in. And by the last hundred pages, I was making all sorts of noise and exclamations because I absolutely love the book. The Undertow by Michael Buckley and I really really love it. I will actually be going out and getting the hardback copy because this is the first book in a series and I fully intend on reading on and getting the rest of the books in the series. Yeah so that was those are my spoiler free thoughts on Undertow by Michael Buckley and I will see you guys next time. Bye. My thoughts on A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. And I am so excited to finally be able to talk to you about this and just have my hands on it. I love it. So I am going to go ahead and give you all my thoughts on this book. This will be complete.